burnout isn't a badge of honor. And I think we are paying attention to the wrong thing. We might actually create an environment where people can be both successful and nourished, nurtured, whole, instead of fragmented and pulled apart. I'd like to welcome you here. My name is Heather. I'm a self-care and empowerment coach. I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. We're living in a culture that's celebrating this idea of working yourself to exhaustion and we're celebrating and a lot of attention is being paid to people who are clawing themselves out of the depths of exhaustion and illness that's as a result of burnout. And I think we are paying attention to the wrong thing. I'm personally disturbed by what I'm seeing as a trend right now. And if anybody is not familiar with what I'm talking about, there's a lot of conversation about burnout among YouTubers and, and these um, people who are, who are very visible in the world and they're sharing their experiences of burnout. I, I can't tell you how many emails that have come into my inbox lately um, from, from people who are very visible, who have huge audiences, sharing their very personal stories of burnout. And when I'm pairing that with conversations that I'm having with people I practice yoga with, people that I dance with, my, my coaching clients who are also talking about this very real impact that burnout is having on their lives, I'm sitting here going, something is wrong. Something is very, very wrong. I'm wondering why we're paying so much attention to the burnout rather than paying attention to the prevention of burnout. In other words, how can we start having conversations about what it means to take care of ourselves, what it means to show ourselves love, what it means to slow down in a culture that values speed over rest, what it means to say no instead of yes to everything and everyone all the time. I neared burnout. In 2013, I was traveling 90% of the time. I only saw my husband six times in 2013, and those six times were over long weekends. My health was suffering. My mental well-being was suffering. My relationship was suffering. Relationships with my friends and family were suffering. And I was, I was close to that burnout that's being described by so many people. But I don't view that as something I should celebrate. What I do think is that I'm viewing it as something that's very wrong with where we are placing our emphasis. I came to doing the work I'm doing through movement and coaching because I want to celebrate this fundamental shift of personal empowerment through self-care, that we actually can give ourselves permission to tune into what's okay for us and for our systems, for our physical, mental, emotional, energetic, and spiritual well-being versus feeling like we have to conform to a system that is saying, do everything you can to deny <laughs> what your gut, what your soul is telling you is okay for you. I don't believe you should have to work to burn out to have the success you want in your life. I, I don't believe you should have to exhaust yourself to, 
tune in to and start living your path of purpose. I firmly believe that if we actually slowed down and paid attention to what was happening inside, to the sensations, to the thoughts, to the feelings, we might actually create an environment where people can be both successful and nourished, nurtured, whole, instead of fragmented and pulled apart. And, and maybe, maybe I'm alone in this thought, but I, I'm really troubled by how this whole burnout conversation is being framed right now. I think some people might look at these stories of burnout and be inspired thinking, oh, I have to work to this point of exhaustion. I have to work and struggle and burn myself out if I'm going to achieve that level of success. I don't buy it. I don't buy it because I've seen a shift in my work when I'm actually tuned in, when I actually take time to rest, when I take time to reflect, when I take time to nourish my body through movement, through food, through connection with others. And I've seen it transform how the people I work with are living their daily lives as well. We get to define what success is, and we get to choose how we get there. It's all a process. Can we give ourselves permission to not process to burnout, but instead to process and nourish? I hope there are others out there who are committed to changing this dynamic, this epidemic of burnout. I hope there are others out there who are choosing to say no to this idea of exhaustion and yes to rest and nourishing and tuning in. Because that's where I see the magic happen. That's where I see people fall in love with themselves. That's where I see people light up and re-engage with their lives. That's where I know our joy current can be followed. If you're ready to join me, to slow down, to take time to reflect, to tune in, and to walk your path of purpose in a different way, in a way that is full of soul and hope that's informed by your inner wisdom, then let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your reflections on this epidemic of burnout. I'd love to know your thoughts and reflections on this idea of slowing down. Thank you so much for joining me here and for being a part of my connection and community. Stay ignited out there. I'll see you soon.